Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of the Binding of Isaac Atchworth Plus. It's always a scary time. It's the last video of the day. It's 7.25 p.m. on a Friday. We got number one here. WXX69QCY. By the way, people have let me know. People have let me know. Clicker doesn't remove a random item. It removes the last item you got. So there actually is a case for holding Clicker and maybe using it. I don't know, there's not too many situations in which you would pick up an item and then be like, no thank you. But there, it, it does happen, sometimes you get weird interactions between... Yikes. Uh, weird interactions between items that both lower your tier count. Um, or let me put it this way, make it take longer for you to shoot tiers, you know what I mean? And there actually is a weird case, I suppose, for maybe using it. I can't believe I let myself get hit there. Um, for using it in conjunction with uh, number one, because you can actually get much better range if you just got rid of it. Um, but it, it's too late, because we'll get rid of uh, the the bomb synergy, so we'd have to use it twice, which admittedly might actually be um, possible at this point. I think the most, but realistically speaking, the most realistic way that we're going to end up ever using the clicker on purpose is not gonna happen but maybe we're on a floor where we have curse of the blind and we pick up an item and then it's truly terrible we would be like you know what all right it's time to it's time to click it's rewind time i remember the memes youtube rewind of course ah back when i thought the platform i uh worked on actually cared about my uh, <laughs> anyway we don't need to get it. Look, I got no problems with YouTube. It's just, um, I would say that over the years it went from like, like to be as transparent as possible. This is not going to get me in trouble. On Twitch, you know, I have people that I could talk to that work at the platform and I can be like, hey, you know, what's going on with this? Hey, what's going on with this? On YouTube, every time I have had to interface with uh, corporate, I have been like, these people just want me to not be here. <laughs> they're they're like thank you for what you do as a creator but also like you know i'm like hey you got a problem they're like hey, where'd you get this number this you're not supposed to have this number that's been that's just been my feedback okay and maybe that's not the case maybe maybe it's a you know maybe it's a science thing sure maybe it's a culture thing i don't know i know some people have had the opposite experience or well nobody has the opposite experience nobody's like youtube's been really good to me but there are people who are like twitch has been kind of you know spotty with me i can't speak to that because i've never experienced it however I'm like if you think twitch has been spotty you got no idea so i'm gonna try something here i'm gonna blow this up i want the card but mostly i want gonna blow this up i want the card but mostly i want to blow up the poop and see if or shoot the poop even and just see if there's a penny in here and there was and that allows me to maybe get an arcade, and the arcade allows me to maybe uh, use this cherry card to maybe get a blood bank or something, or a, a blood bag or something like that. And by the way, it's fine. Like I don't, I don't expect uh, the platform to bend over backwards. I'm a, I'm a low maintenance sort of guy um, when it comes to, uh, you know, as long as you keep the website up and running and uh, stable. And and as much as I could laugh about the fact that like. You know, well, they've had some downtimes in the past. Yeah, but like it's, it's like 99.95% uptime or something. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But I'm definitely also like, you know. <laughs> it feels like the days of YouTube uh, caring so much about its uh, creator-focused image are are gone and in its own weird way it's almost a good thing because it felt like they were kind of pretending the whole time anyway that's that's my thoughts on that we've got the sun do 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 so we are actually going to use the sun as well and the main reason is because we're gonna want to stick with um algae's especially with tarot cloth Dude, I, I just apologize. It's been a little bit spotty as far as gameplay goes here. <laughs> We're gonna get there, though. I, I got the utmost confidence. Let me fight off the haunt, see what we got in the deal with the devil. Because I, I see how this goes right now, okay? We fight off the haunt. We don't take damage because I'm refusing to acknowledge him as a difficult boss. If you acknowledge him as a difficult boss, he wins. Our job... 
to not get hit. Then, engage in a trade, a bit of commerce with the deal with the devil. On the deal with the devil, if we could lose one HP but preserve our spirit heart, that would, and as long as it's a good deal, we like it because it gives us access to the boss trap room, which might give us uh, the kind of access we need the consumables in order to get into our item room in our shop that I basically kind of threw away by being a little bit flippant with my use of keys and bombs. Do appreciate the speed up for certain. And you know what? I, I think this is an absolutely good get. An absolutely good get. We do have to be very careful because we are lower than you'd like to be on HP and you always... The final run of the day always carries a, a certain mystique for me. Excuse me. Phew. Thank you. It's always like where things can go terribly wrong. You don't want them to go terribly wrong, but it happens sometimes. So we really need like a bomb or a key. That's it. One of the two. It's all I ask. It's a very minor ask. That doesn't count, okay? For the record, that does not count. Oh, dude, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, careful. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's just, it's a little spooky with the, with the lemonade here. Okay, we didn't get a bomb or a key. We got a key. Okay, what's the next step? You don't use it on the item room. You go to the shop, but you, you stay in recognizance. That, I mean, a bomb is worth a staggering amount if you already have access to the shop. So go get Alges here. It ended up being worth it for sure. I feel like my Isaac Fu has been relatively low. But, uh, you know, keep keep the winds a-coming. Honey, you got a big storm coming. And don't get twisted up, you know? The worst thing you can do if you, if you're, you feel like you're slumping is like, oh, I'm going to squeeze as hard as possible to... Well, it's just my experience, I guess, but I'm going to squeeze as hard as possible to try to make this run work. I don't think that's a good idea. I think the best idea you can have is like, hey, we're going to relax. We're actually just going to chill out. Maybe I start... To, maybe I play badly for the next five runs. We're going to just try to get as... as we're going to get ourselves back on the horse as quickly as possible. I don't know if I should be holding this trinket anymore, dude. I'm like, I don't I don't think it's bad. <laughs> but I'm just like, I'm not sure it's good. Okay, well, you know, that's gonna be very helpful. Um that, that's a big pickup. Ip Ipecac is essentially a free win. I'm not afraid who knows it. Um it it is. It just is. As long as your HP is not horrible. Um and our, our HP is far from horrible right now. Little money though, little money could go a long way. Get out of your spider, Varus. We care not for your espionage techniques. I would say Spirit Heart reroll. Shouldn't have done that, but um, blank card algae is like a gimme. Then a Spirit Heart. Then a Spirit Heart, and then we're then we're done. Okay, this I mean we won. This will be our thirty fifth win in a row. Pretty exciting stuff. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited for the weekend, but I gotta tell you, by weekend standards, I, uh, you know, we got very little going on. Kate actually has a sponsored thing that I'm gonna be a part of, so it's a, it's not even really the, a traditional day off in the traditional day off sense. But uh, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not sweating it too much because it'll be fun. And you know, I already, as mentioned in the last video, ran an errand today. <laughs> already ran an errand today and embarrassed myself in front of the mechanics, so. You know what? I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Thank you. Hand delivered. That's what you like to see. Service with a smile. I'm still not done with the milk delivery thing, okay? It's still, it's still weighing heavily on my mind. That people who are like 70 years old will be like, Wow, millennials learn how to cook. Stop using DoorDash once a week. Meanwhile, you're getting milk delivered to their... Re I mean, not anymore, but as children, they were getting milk delivered to their residences. Five days a week. I mean, come on, why don't you just open your own creamery? What did you say to me? <laughs> Alright, we don't need to make this a generational warfare episode. It doesn't have to be. I don't know what else I'm going to get up to. I got to say, I'm, I'm kind of like in between games at the moment. 
And it, I, like, let's be honest, we're getting pretty close to like that being the least of my concerns. <laughs> but there was like a two or th actually, I am a fool. I'm a fool. There was probably like a three month period where, uh, you know, on the weekends I was like, like I'm not a hardcore in my casual time gamer anymore. And it's not a negative thing. Like, you know, I, I think it's one of those things where I just play so many games throughout the week that on the weekend, sometimes I'm like, I go through this thing where I think I'm trying to think of a, a relatable example or a more relatable example at least. But do you ever like look forward to doing something after work? And then like you do it for half an hour and then you're like, you know what, that's enough. That's kind of where I'm at with the it depends on the game. Like when when I was big into Monster Train, and it might happen again as the uh, new expansion or uh, the content patch comes out. But um, you know, on the weekend, I would be like, oh, I've got my videos set. You know what? Let's let's play like a little bit of Monster Train. Sometimes I would play like you know two hours maybe of Monster Train, and I was like, this is great. I'm having a great time. Warzone, it it hits the highest highs and the lowest lows with the windows down, and this song guiding you home. Um, so sometimes I, I was playing a little Warzone, and after like 15 minutes, I'm like, you know what? I think I think this is, I've, I've hit the point where playing this game on Unity is awesome when it works. Playing the game casually, I'm like, uh, my personal time is too valuable to me right now to waste it on things that just frustrate me. So, and I, I don't I don't think that's an admission that you know my time is worth a lot. I think it's an admission that I'm finally valuing it. The same way like when I. When I got to that point with Dota, where I was like, uh, this game is making me miserable. I was like, let's just never play it again. People were like, but the new patch came out, and uh, Beastmaster's alt now has a 0 0.3 second uh, channel time instead of a 0. That's not really why I quit. I didn't quit because of... <sighs> I didn't quit because of Beastmaster's alt's channel time, but uh, I'll, I'll take that under advisement. Um, and if you're able to get... It's not even like an addictive thing. I think um, I'm guilty of having previously framed it as like I have an addictive personality, and uh, you know Dota, I can't trust myself to not get too into it. The the further away I get from it, the more I'm like, that's not really it. I think that game just when you play too much of it. Well, no, not even that. Like I, I really honestly think, and I'm willing to be uh, uh, lectured on this if I'm incorrect. I really think most of the time that people play Dota, they're not having a good time. Maybe there's ways that you can play it to have a good time, but there's no shortage of games that give you good times out there. So a game where you have to, you know, kind of meet it in the middle to have a good time, it depends in some situations. Like, I mean, you got to meet a Zachtronics game in the middle to have a good time, but once you meet it in the middle, you're like, oh, this is a great time. You don't even really meet it in the middle. You meet it, like, at its house. <laughs> And it's uncompromising, but it's worth it. Okay, be careful here. For me, it's less like, oh, I got addicted to Dota. And it's way more like I actually, like, having not played Dota for a bit, I'm like, oh, yeah. You know what? I, I love winning. What I don't like is Dota. I like winning. Winning is good. I'm not even saying Dota is bad. I'm just saying I, I didn't get the fun from it at past a certain point, I guess. So kind of in between games. Like Fall Guys is is really fun, but it's not, you know, I play enough of it in my in my week that I don't really want to play it on the weekends. And also like the other thing is I'm I'm realizing now what I the games I play on the weekends now, I'm looking for different criteria. And I I guess I'm not really asking for suggestions. I'm more just like throwing this out here as like commiseration, but it's less about like, hey, somebody recommend like a good game to me. And it's much more at this point, like, what do I want out of a game? Uh, I, I want it to be relatively fast rounds and mechanics focused and fun. That's, I mean, that's not even that good of an item, dude. That's pretty much where I'm at. And especially like, you know, as time goes on uh, here, like as this month goes on, basically. Um, Pausing it is going to be nice as well. <laughs> so I really think I'm about to enter a phase where, like, even Tetris 99 I can't do. Because, like, what if I'm in the mid-Tetris 99 game and uh, the baby cries? You know, I'm going to, I'm not going to be like, just wait a second. I'm going to be like, I, oh, I got to throw this game because my baby's crying. So, 
I don't know. I, th I think I'm entering like a like a peak cross phase, or like I'm. I think I'm. I'm being sincere. I think I might start getting into like crossword puzzles, dude. I've always been interested in crossword puzzles, and I've done some, um, and I like them. I like doing them because what people don't tell you is that a crossword puzzle is not necessarily a word puzzle. If you think of a crossword puzzle as like you know the way that it was done in school, um, I, I I think of it less like that and it's more like a, a geospatial trivia you know you need it, it's a lot like jeopardy the clues are not like hey think of a word that means this although sometimes i mean that's a classic class, uh, crossword clue right that's like you know noun to something 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 and then there's like 12 different possible answers but by looking at the letters that you have available already slotted into 12 down or whatever then you're like okay it must be you know uh apiary a place where bees live i don't know if there's 12 options for that <laughs> my front yard but uh yeah maybe maybe the season of crossword puzzles is upon us maybe that's what we're at dude i mean i think i'll i'll be the grandpa gamer that doesn't bother me i think crossword puzzles are sick What do you got? We can go back. We do have tarot cloth, so we're gonna like double up on this one, but that's fine. It's fine. So we'll send it. Um, I don't think we want that. That scares me. I, you know, it's okay. Big, big chubby's all right. I don't know. Maybe we should have taken skipping stone, but it's. I was just worried it was gonna be one of those items that would ruin uh, everything for us forever. I'm gonna stick with algae's though. By the way, I think it's just it's a. It's a better play in terms of the optics of it. So yeah, I would I would say I'm in between games. Fall Guys honestly would be a great option. But I, I gotta tell you, and this is not uh, Fall Guys' fault, I really needed to be like on the Switch. Which is becoming a problem. Because like, like, I don't want to throw this game under the bus because I actually think it might be like... Uh, a problem with our TV. I don't think it is, because now that I think about it, I played a lot of PS4 on this TV. But I, I got the, a code for the golf club, or PGA Tour 2K21. I got a code for it for Steam, and I love the Steam game. I think it's, you know, one of the best golf games I've ever played. It's the only golf game I want to play moving forward, unless someone releases, like, an arcade golf. And then this one can be, like, this, the relatively simmy golf. And then the other one can be, you know, Hot Shots golf, everybody's golf, etc., etc. Let's start here, just in case. I mean, that's good. We're going to use it. I think we should hold it. I, I think that's that's going to be worth more for us than the algae's, though I like the algae's as well. And we will take this as well. And then maybe another spirit heart would be pretty sick. Thank you. Um, and we're on de depths one? I thought we were on depths two, straight up, but that's fine. Um, but I, I, I was like, you know what? I, I, I shot my shot with PR, and I was like, hey, can I have a switch code? Like... I know I already covered the game, but it would be nice to also be able to check out the Switch version to, like, play in my downtime. So it's pretty much just a... It's like a flex ask, right? It's, <laughs> it's not like I'm going to make a video on the Switch version. And they were like, yeah, no problem. So they gave me a Switch code, and I got to tell you, it was, like, low texture and pretty, like, input laggy. And I was just like, ah, this is an inferior way to experience this. So the, the mature answer would be move your PS4 out into the other room instead of leaving it in your room. But I like it in my room because I use I stream from it sometimes. I mean, I haven't in like five months since we finished Control, but in theory. And then there's like the Steam Remote Play stuff, but... I think you can only do Steam Remote Play with a Steam controller, is that correct? And it also has its own problems with input lag, but, you know, it's not really a problem. In the sense of, like, oh, it doesn't work properly, it's like, this is the best the technology can do right now. <laughs> Just pop these down right away. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are whiny problems, but, like, a golf game is perfect. As a kid, you know, my dad and my mom play video games. They're, they're hip and they're cool like that. Um, the Emperor, huh? It is it is a temptation. I'm not going to deny that. Um, 
But the, my dad was always like, hey, have any new golf games come out recently? And I'm like, yeah, you know, there's like one a year. <laughs> PGA Tour, whatever. Um, I was always like, I wonder why my dad likes golf games so much. I realize, you know, the man does not have a lot of free time. Having the ability, he gets interrupted, you know, he'll be doing something, he'll get a call, you know, and it's work related, or he'll, you know, he doesn't like to sit down for more than like, you know, an hour at a time, he'll sit down for an hour, at like 61 minutes, he's like, ah, I'm gonna reupholster these chairs, you know, he's like that. Golf, in a digital sense, is the kind of game that can really, it can fit in that, that sort of lifestyle, and I'm starting to respect and uh, understand it more than I used to. Tower? Fool. Good, good one. Hierophant, okay. I mean, we probably could have stuck with the Hierophant, if we're being honest. Um, but I also think the Joker is still very great. But is it as good as uh, unlimited HP at double speed because we have Tarot Cloth? No, it's not as good as unlimited HP at double speed. You got me on that one, okay? If, if that's the, the level we got to be at, then no, it's not there. So I'm I'm zooming uh, because I want to see. Oh my god! I want to see if we can get to the boss fight and then teleport out of boss rush. We don't need the card right now. You don't need the card right now. This is it. This is doing the little things wrong. But I'm already halfway there. I can't stop. <laughs> we we have not been to our shop. I don't care. I don't care. Land these shots. We gotta land them a little faster. I mean, if we don't make boss rush, this was a colossal failure. If we do make boss rush, it's probably merely highly not worth it. Now remember, you don't need to go to the deal with the devil here. That's not that good. It's not that good. It's not that good. It's probably that good. And then we're just going to walk out. And that's where we're stuck. So would I recommend this? No, we gave up on the shop and the blood banks. And yet something in my head is like, you did a good job. You got uh, Egghead for free. <laughs> I mean, truth be told, Egghead's not that bad. Is also, and uh, let me guess, you're not ready for this one. Not that good. However, everything's okay. And uh, it remains okay in spite of my seeming inability to keep myself from getting hit here. So, you know what? I think that these things will never hit me. Because <laughs> I'm always move. The, the, I think the impact of the shot changes the way that they run there. Oh, dude, Leviathan. Or the, it, it impacts the actual shot that they shoot themselves, I mean to say. Um, but yeah, I would also say... First off, Leviathan was good here. There's no way we're taking the other item. We need our own HP right now. Um, but I would say, if you own PGA Tour 2K21 on the Switch, let me know if it's just my TV's fault. Because I would like some, some good golf on the Switch, dude. I would love some good golf on the Switch. You know what I want to see? This is like... So I got... And I'm being greedy here. I got my wish in games. Somebody came out with a really good and popular casual battle royale that's not first person shooter focused that was i've been asking for it for a long time i'm not disappointed you know i'm stoked that it that we have it um now if i'm willing to be a little bit greedier and ask for one more thing santa Joker. nah we don't need him pennywise by the way um the other thing i want if possible would be a super mario uh, well, let me rephrase. A Mario Golf. I was going to say Super Mario RPG. But a Mario Golf in the style of the Game Boy Color Camelot Software Mario Golf. That was like my favorite Game Boy Color game. And I'm talking, I think it might be actually better than Pokemon Red and Blue. It, it, Yellow's really good. You're, you're getting into, that's, that's a tough one. I need to lose range. No, I don't. I need to lose shot height. Like, what stat do we have on purity here? Um, but the Camelot Software golf games, dude, they're so good. Now, I will admit, everyone is going to be... Because I've been there. 
I've said this before, everyone's gonna be like, you should check out Golf Story. So I have, and I didn't really like it when I checked it out. But I also think, you know, that was three years ago. I think I'm in a different place now. I, I think that... I, uh, I think that I might be a little bit more interested in giving it a shot. Now, I'll admit, one of the reasons I had an issue with Golf Story, and it's not really an issue that makes it bad, it's just an issue that makes it, you know, not exactly what I'm looking for, is that it did seem a little more focused on... It was maybe like a 50-50 split of Golf RPG, and what I'm looking for is more like a, a Golf game where you improve your character stats over time and have like a narrative to eventually take out, you know, the big boss or the club or whatever. Um, so it seemed a little bit more like, hey, find like eight golf balls on, around the lake or something like that. And I was like, I just want a chip. <laughs> I want chip pilled. We already went to the deal with the devil here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm willing to give it a shot again because I think, you know, I think it was in a different spot. I mean, it was around the same time probably that I watched uh, the first episode of uh, The Haunting of Hill House and was like, it's not for me. And now I'm watching it in 2020 and I'm like, I was pretty dumb. This show's not bad. I will say, by the time you watch this, I will have finished season one. I think Haunting of Hill House is, uh, is one of the best horror shows I've ever watched in my entire life. No doubt about that. But I do also think. I mean, I'm I've been struggling with the with. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. I've been struggling with this because I think it's just you know, a, a natural kind of truth of storytelling. I think it's almost impossible to make the resol. Thank you, Egghead, for the invincibility. By the way, um, I think it's almost impossible to make the resolution of a story as good as the build up. Like, when I, th I, I think the, the build-up has such a huge advantage because people love mystery. And if you don't have to answer the mystery, it really gets your brain turning, right? You're like, oh, this could be this, it could be this, it could be this. I wonder what's going to happen here. As it starts to resolve, you're like, oh, you know, in some situations, you're like, that didn't really live up to my expectations. There are, there are some exceptions. Sometimes people say Breaking Bad, but even then, I'm like, you know... For me, like, season 2, 3, 4 of Breaking Bad are unbelievably good television. And season 5 is merely very great. I, I certainly don't subscribe to the belief that the show, like, lost its magic in the fifth season. There, I mean, it, if we're talking about comparisons, you know, there are shows that have uh, Game of Thrones. Um, not in its fifth season so much as its eighth season, but you get the idea. But I definitely feel like it... it the fifth season is probably a cut below all the seasons, including the first season. Um, but the resolution is fairly good. That That's undeniable, I think. But still, I was like, you know what? When it ended, I was kind of like, huh, they did a good job. But this isn't really how I envisioned it ending. Now, on the flip side, I'll tell you, I actually thought Endgame did a sick job. Now, I know that's contentious because superhero movies, you talk about them on the internet, it's like talking about politics. Um... But when I was watching Endgame, for sure in my head, I was like, I can't believe they found a way to wrap this up in, in a way that's going to satisfy most people. And not just like, huh, okay, but in like, a, you know, they shot off all the fireworks at once. But for the most part, you know, it's hard to, it's really hard to bring something to a wrap with the kind of, the same kind of pageantry as when you brought it to fruition in the first place, you know? So what I was going to say is I feel like the setup for ha uh, Haunting of Hill House, where you're like, I don't really know what's going on here, and who's that, and what the heck is that thing, and is it this or is it this? When they start to be like, oh, it's this, you're like, all right. You had to do something. I, I do respect that, but at the same... Oh, you know, we could use the clicker right here. <laughs> well, you know what? We could probably just give away our HP. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You know what? Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done that one. I, I got a little too big for my britches. I got too excitable. It happens. I don't like my current position. Please let me move. Why would you why would you shoot there? That's the real question. Why would you shoot there? So you're you're gonna make me say it, aren't you? You're gonna make me say it. You know what would go sick here? Analogies rune. 
And you know what? The worst part is you wouldn't be wrong. Rate of fire, insanely great here. So we actually, we're not going to lose. And I, I mean that sincerely. Like, it, it's, it might look dangerous, but it's like a Marvel movie. You know, the heroes are in danger, but they're never really in danger. Um, this is not the one. This is not the end of our Isaac contract. We're, we're going to be back for the new movie, okay? The only thing I'll say is we got to play a little smarter. Um, oh, hello. Didn't expect you to be there. We gotta play a little smarter. We gotta we gotta play our game. We gotta let Dark Bum do good stuff for us. And we gotta, you know, do the right thing. Like we got it in that room, we killed the blue uh, famine last, so we got the spirit heart. And you know what? Everything's hunky dory. Not, nothing wrong with that. Now on this one, we're gonna do the little things right, i.e., we're not gonna get hit. On this one, this one's a little Ninkado. I, I, I saw the hit coming. On this one, we're going to try to get some HP. And then immediately trade it to the deal with the devil. So that's Dark Bum. Thank you, sir. You got another one for me? Thank you, sir. All right, great work. Thanks for the damage stat, Infamy. I, I very much appreciate it. That's, all right, there it goes. We got our damage stat back. Let's go. We actually, more than any stat right now... Come on, man. You crazy? I just walked over here. More than any stat right now, uh, range. Not range, sorry. Tears is what we're looking for. I'm fading, brother. <laughs> we got tears. Okay. Ah! So in my head, I was like, maybe it'll teleport us to the other room. Certainly not the case. But dude, the DPS we get from high rate of fire, out of control. Okay. We have found a dead end. I repeat, we have found a dead end. I don't know if that would have found the secret room. Look, I'm just going to say it, okay? What's the point of having a wall if the shot goes through it without continuum? And I'll admit, I'll be the first person to admit, you know, my Isaac performance today, we, and this is, I don't know, video four or five, honestly. We had some spotty performances, but all I'm really gonna say is that I did have a couple of times today where I started with a pretty dangerous run, and then we got there, okay? It's like we had a, we fell apart after that, but it's like we had a hard childhood and then got very, very lazy in adulthood. You know, we, we did what we had to do when times were tough. And now that we're an adult, we're like, I don't want to clean up anymore. I'm an adult, you know. It's not the admirable way to do things. You know, we should still stick to our responsibilities and do the things right that we know we should do right. And that we're going to need to do right in order to win in the future. But we did enough. <laughs> At least as of the present moment, we've done enough. But we should do more so that we're not scared in the future. What do you got for me here? Forever alone? Uh, well, that's, that's good. But we'll pop these all down. It's four free items. Not that great. Not good. Okay. Um, I, yeah, it's got to be Beelzebub, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. The glitter bombs give you consumables with Ipecac? Because if so... I don't think they do. I'll just call it. But if they did, I think we could hypothetically just never die if we just sat on a room and just shot shots until they gave us spirit hearts. Also got to consider, like, the most embarrassing part of this run for me is the percentage of damage that I've taken by getting hit by enemies versus the percentage of damage that I've taken by uh, hitting an enemy with Ipecac and hurting myself. Those are, those are very, very rookie level mistakes. Don't kill Gluttony. Why, don't walk in the Gluttony either, dummy. Okay, Sissy Long Legs. Sorry, you should be looking at this one. Thank you. A spider. After, after all that, you're gonna give me a spider. And the spirit heart. He was just waiting. It was time delayed like a Tylenol capsule. Okay. So we're going to make it. Like I said, win 35. No problem. In the books. 
How do those tears speed up when they home in on you, you know? They got afterburners in them? I don't believe it. It's not called the Binding of Isaac Afterburner. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And look at that. Last run of the day. We go into the weekend feeling good about 35 wins in a row. And I'll see you next time. See ya!